What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Please Kill Me Please and the date today is the 8th of July year 2021. Alright, so um understand the last any videos, that's because um the events last week are kind of boring and not so cool to do. But um in this week's events, alright, uh we'll be going through the events as usual first and then we'll go into detail uh, into each and every event itself all right so the first event is obviously the hero unveiling uh, which I'll be completing here right now for you guys um, so basically this is the new hero all right let's grab the rewards first <clears throat> so thanks developer very generous rewards and this is a new fire priest that we're gonna get next week which I'll be doing a, a what we call this first impression of her later on in this uh, next part of the video um, moving on is the treasure box event this is how you're gonna get all the unlocking mechanisms we still need to do five advanced divination which we have yet to do but basically we're gonna do it in the last part of the video um, for the heavenly divination it's kind of normal small kind of event it's not a big event the big event is tomorrow uh, in about six hours time so basically these are the events rewards it's a sushi so if you have a lot a lot of uh, divination coins you can go about four loops to get four copies of this sushi all right and also this uh, unlocking mechanism for the treasure box and there's also the smithy event all right so uh this smithy event is kind of standard um i'm not too sure whether i still need additional monarch sets or any uh guan wu sets for my team but anyway that's not really important uh this is the empress vault okay so there are two boxes which i both also bought because both of them are really really uh good in terms of value so i bought both and next week i mean in six hours time which is going to be the recruitment prizes empress vault lucky heart and event summon and also recruitment event too Alright, so basically we are done with the introduction of the events of the week. We're gonna go into the first impression of the new hero right now. Alright guys, so this new hero, it's a fire priest. Her name is Leizu, alright, Miss Leizu. And um, we'll go through her stats, alright, 1163 speed. Is kind of normal for a priest I would like to always compare it with the either previous priest in the same faction uh, which is SSX at 1168 uh, the new priest is kind of slow a bit but uh, in terms of HP attack and armor I think the new priest has the slight advantage all right um, moving on to I mean comparing it to the previous newest priest I believe it's gonna be Li Shishi Right? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's definitely got to be see her. All right. So at one one three two, uh, that's our light priest. Uh, what we call it, young priest. All right. It's not light. It's young. Um. Now I only realize Miss see her is super slow, but uh, she does have her own uh buff towards the speed, which is don't know either one of the skills. I guess it's this skill, or. I, I'm not too sure which skill is it but I do remember she adds speed yeah speed by 4 um, but anyway she uh, let's go back to the fire priest the new fire priest so uh, we're gonna go through her skills uh, and this is going to be my first impression of uh, the new hero alright um, so uh, the first active skill is called hail blessing Right, consume self 30% of current HP and restore all allies HP equals to 15% of the max HP grants them a shield of 15% so basically I do believe her skills kind of work around her HP pool the higher the HP the stronger the healing and the stronger the shield of the, the, the buff all right going into a second skill uh, it's some passive ability she does have a bit of crit resistance and HP reduction most probably um, maybe when you're in the later stage of the game she could be the frontline tank alright because she does have some tanking abilities 
um, misfortune avoidance. When an ally's shield is broken due to damage taken, restores this ally HP equals to 10% of max HP and dispel this ally a debuff. Alright, not bad. She has some purify, uh, cleansing debuff uh, abilities. Not bad. And the shield is always equals to her max HP. So I do believe uh, running a HP HP stone on her or maybe a speed HP stone on her is pretty good. Uh, definitely not an attack stone because she doesn't need any attack. Um, weaving life when the battle starts, consume self 22% of current HP to grant all allies an equal amount of shield for two rounds. If Lezu cannot act, the skill will not be triggered. Huh. This thing is a bit weird, alright, when the battle starts, alright, whenever the battle starts, how can you not act? If you know what I mean, it's a bit weird. The mechanics, I'm not too sure, we will have to see, um, you know, in the 6 hours or 7 hours time to see how this skill really, really works. Because normally when the battle starts, you know, uh, you won't get stunned in the first round, highly unlikely, I believe. Um, so this is a really weird thing to be mentioned in the skill. Alright, so overall I do believe she has her own uh, niche abilities. She's one of the priests that mainly uses HP as a, a, a what do you call it, to, to determine how much she heals and how much she actually protects the team. It's one of the HP type of priests. Um, unlike like see her, her her heals are based on her attack um, this new priest is based on how much HP does she have alright so um, overall I would say you know new heroes are definitely uh, kind of okay or OP I guess um, but basically I would say I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna summon her the next week we'll have to see how it goes I do believe there are some previews of this hero and stuff like that people are gonna try it out so we shall have to wait to see whether she is really worth 200 scrolls to summon next week alright so this is the end of my first impression of the new hero um, alright guys so we are done with the first impression of the new hero which now leads us to either this Heavenly Divination or Treasure Box, which we will need to get it done today. Alright, um, so for this, we are stuck at 24 right now. Um, definitely not worth. I should be able to do a few more. Um, considering the fact that every 50, you're gonna get the same rewards, it's most probably most efficient to at least reach 200, but uh, I'm not thinking that we're gonna do it all 200 in today's video but I just want to show you that I was really lucky I got this 5 star jinker from 10 spins and whatever so whenever you actually achieve rewards on this wheel all right uh, definitely refresh it you have to wait three hours for the refresh time to go so that you do not need to actually spend gems to refresh so this is what I usually do since we have 24 just now I'm gonna do an extra six first that's one that's two that's three that's four that's five and the last one is six all right so I do believe we're at the 30 mark right now we do have another 20 more to go let's hope we get some good stuff from here is it lagging all right it's lagging um yeah so we got it normally we should refresh but since for the sake of the video we gonna just click ok and proceed so we got our 50 rewards uh, most probably i gonna wait another three hours and try to get a few more stuff done but anyway, uh, we're gonna go towards this, what we call, uh, treasure box first. Um, I do believe we have something over here we need to collect. That's one more unlocking mechanism. And we're gonna do some advanced divination. I'm not looking... I would prefer dark, but alright, never mind. 
Just gonna do a 10 bomb really quick. Bam. Uh, are we done? I don't think so. We do actually need to... What do we call this? So every 5 you get 1. We're gonna do at least uh, 10 and 5. We're just gonna go ahead and click it twice because I do have too much of this uh, Golden Sage Spirit. I've been saving up for a long time. There's not a specific event to complete in this uh, game regarding this uh, Golden Spirit Sleep. But basically, I do believe we have obtained everything that we need to obtain from all the stuff. Alright, so we have a total of 34. And let's go. That's one. I do believe it's a bit laggy. Maybe I'll take a break first and I'll come back later. Hold on, hold on guys. Alright, we are back. So, is it still lagging? Alright. It's a bit better now, but I'm not too sure. Alright. Um, so it's kind of a no-brainer stuff as usual. Um, but one thing that I need to you know let you guys know that uh, for this wheel, uh, the main price would definitely be the 10 Azur Horns. Alright, is it 10? Yeah, it's 10 Azur Horns. But um, hero copy is, I do believe, kind of important too. Uh, whenever they put a hero here, it just means that it's going out to date. They never actually... Oh, that's a 5 Azur Horn. Nice! Alright, um, but anyway, um, whenever you see that hero here it just means that that hero is kind of out of the meta that is why they are giving it away for free not to say it's not good it's just getting out of the meta all right that means a new kind of meta is coming in and that is why they are gonna just recycle the old hero here that's what i personally think are we going in a big hole yeah all right Give me the 10 Azurhans or the 10 scrolls, that is gonna be really nice. They gave me the 5 scroll. Alright, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, so that's the thing about whenever you see your favorite hero there, that just means that that hero is going out of the meta. So, um, Gao Zhenli has been quite a meta defining hero for the past one year, I do believe, ever since its release. Um, people have been collecting numerous copies of Mr. Gao Jian Li. I've seen teams up to like um, 3 Gao Jian Li, triple Gao Jian Li. Um, which, honestly saying, it's kind of unbeatable when you have triple Gao Jian Li. But one thing about Gao Jian Li is um, he's kind of squishy. So I do believe you need a lot, a lot of support to ensure that he actually survives the nukes from the, especially the scholars or the rangers. Personally, I have not been lucky enough. Nice, that's a 10 bomb scroll. Um, like I said earlier, I personally have not been blessed with any luck, especially with this Gao Jian Li. Honestly, until right now, I have zero copies of Mr. Gao Jian Li. Yeah, um, it's a bit of fate kind of thing. God doesn't want to give me any Gao Jian Li, but he definitely did give me a lot of dark heroes, which uh, uh, I appreciate that a lot, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> thanks DH Games. But anyway, we are down to the last 15 of our unlocking mechanisms, and I do believe there is another event that I would like to talk about later, in the later part of the video, which is this fight it out kind of uh, event. Nice, we are in the big circle again. I almost thought we got the 10 Azur Horns, guys. I almost thought we had it. It's either that or the Gao Jian Li. <laughs> Sometimes I do believe the game kind of hears what I have to say and then they'll give me what I want. <laughs> Which is not always the case. You know? You know, maybe the game heard me saying that I have no fit in the Gao Jian Li kind of drops and. Right here, right now, it's gonna give me a Gao Jian Li. 
is it lagging again? No, 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 please no. All right, we are down to the last 10. Big wheel. All right. This is actually the first, second, third, fourth time. This is the fifth time coming into this big wheel out of 34 of it. It's kind of good, I guess. I do have to check back my previous videos to see my total record. Do you think we have another chance to get into the big wheel? That's 6 over 34 which is pretty good. Pretty pretty good I would say. We actually got the 5 scrolls, 10 scrolls, the 5 azure horn. And yep, we are now in the big hole. Most probably they give me sage decree or this raid. Alright, see? Sage decree. And I do believe we have no more chance to get into the big wheel last three right now dew drops love the dew drops currently i do have uh, completed all five almost all i only left the assassins uh three that i haven't maxed out yet the others are pretty much maxed out including you know the second version of the tree that's after playing for one year all right this is the last one and we're gonna take a break because uh, the game feels super laggy. Alright, <coughs> this is the seventh time we came into the big hole. Um, it's gonna be the artifact. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let's take a break. Alright guys, I want to specifically leave this section just to talk about this fight it out event. Alright, um, this is basically a very, very amazing event i believe i mean i've been playing it a lot i can't stop but um this is my record all right um so clear 10 stage for two attempts with no fail it's very hard really really hard i mean for me to clear one one time for stage 10 also took me a while i have not enough time to actually do it the second time but i'm just gonna go through it um, just for the video's purpose, uh, I do believe I lost. Is it? <clears throat> I'm just gonna click this because I have a lot of young hero. Yeah, I actually did lost one time, so I'm just gonna click end now so that uh, we're gonna go and choose our heroes again. Okay, so um, when you enter this thing, alright, you actually get to. You know, this is actually the first time I'm doing it on my laptop, so they're gonna run you through the process. So you select the hero, select your pet, and then every two stage or something like that, you get to um, you know employ another hero or get this what you call buff. Yeah, gain a bonus like a buff. So out of six first six hero that you choose is really really important, and and in a team of six heroes I definitely this is just how I choose my heroes all right you definitely want to choose a PvP uh, kind of support hero which is kind of really important I believe um, that's why I'm gonna go with that um, among these three heroes I do only see potential in the Jiang Ziya uh, because he's kind of a CC kind of hero all right uh, he provides silence from the whole team and if you look at these three heroes, uh, this one is the best choice. Um, if you look at these three heroes, I still now lack tank. I do have some CC with me already. Obviously, uh, this, uh, what do you call it? What, what hero is this? The Mr. Damo has actually a lot of uh, synergy with Mr. Jiang Ziya. But I'm still lacking frontline tank, even though Diao Chan could be a tank. Uh, or Damo can also be a tank um, so it kind of depends it's kind of like a trial and error thing the more times you play the more experience you're gonna get but I'm gonna go with uh, this guy he's one of the most solid tanks in the world all right most probably I did the wrong choice just now so the game is giving me some trash shit hero right now um, again 
I do have to pick this this I mean if you look at the current hero lineup right now you have not seen a real carry hero a carry hero means that you can snowball you can restore your own HP by yourself you can deal massive amount of damage which this lineup is lacking right now so definitely I have to go with this Niajung at the moment and since that this uh, whole team uh, do have enough healing I believe uh, with the double Diao Chan honestly if you give me a choice the best priest is definitely going to be see her at the moment um, she allows healing on your team and make other teams not heal so that would be the best choice but since it's something like that um, I do believe getting a really good sustain is very uh, important all right so Obviously, the tank is going to be up front. Um, perhaps uh, my Niajing is going to go in slot 2. He's the carry. All right. Uh, sometimes if you see an uh, opponent has a... What's this dude called? The young faction. I mean, yeah, the young faction guy. I forgot his name. But anyway, he only attacks front line. So you need to look out for that. Um, so basically... It's either like this or like this, it's really up to you. One Diao Chan in the front, one Diao Chan in the back is pretty good. So we're just gonna go through one battle and basically that's uh, that's the whole PvP kind of setup mindset that you actually have when you actually create your team. Alright, so actually playing a lot more um, with this fight it out event really helps you gain an understanding and perspective of PvP fights. So if you put the Diao Chan up front, you will most probably have a round 1 CC, all right, uh, which is pretty good, I would say. The screen is really lagging guys, I'm sorry, I'm not too sure whether it's going to show up in the video or not, but um, there's no skip button also, that's a bit of... Uh, Thing that we need to you know bear with me at the moment so uh, Niajung is kind of squishy so most probably we might have want to go with the Damo just now since they you know do have synergy so my carry kind of just died I'm pretty sure we lost this fight so the skip button comes out right now so as, as you can see, it's a defeat and whenever I see there's a defeat, you know, you, 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 you have to end it and um, quickly end now and reset your team again. So I'm gonna go through this uh, another one more time because it's pretty fun for me. So <laughs> first things first, we are really getting all these kind of shit heroes I'm, I'm out, I'm out so challenge alright so we have a Gao Jian Li we're gonna go with the Gao Jian Li he's gonna be our carry so um, double Gao Jian Li seems pretty good sometimes you do need to have a look at the artifacts to see whether it's in line or not so this Gao Jian Li has an energy let's check out this one he does have an energy one too so it's pretty good you put both of them together and definitely we go with SSX because SSX is one of the top tier what you call it priests all right we're gonna go with this tank um we're gonna go with Li Shishi we do need all the support that we need come on game it's lagging again um yeah all right we got our Li Shishi and hmm, we actually do lack this thing called crowd control. Alright, so basically I can say that you know besides getting a carry, determining a carry, you need to determine your support, your tank, and also your crowd control guy. So that's why we're gonna go with this. Um Alright, so I, I do hope you kind of get the gist of how I plan and you know structure my team and it also need to see what your team lacks so that you're gonna choose the correct pet monster 
but basically uh we'll take a break right now my my computer is super lagging so uh we'll take a break right now all right and we are back so basically i do believe this team uh all right that's about this thing about the monsters so you can read the main distinction between different monsters is actually at this part unlocks at level 45 all right so for this pet the dragon pet um he actually kind of plays a defensive role which means it reduces the final damage of enemy heroes attacked by the mythical pet by 20 percent for two rounds whenever it comes out all right and if you look at this guy at 45 uh basically it reduced the final damage too and so both of them are kind of a defensive pet and I mean right now we do actually only get to choose between one pet or another pet so if you look at the whole thing this is the main distinction that you should look for uh, you mean I mean by determining the which pet you're gonna choose for a team all right so um, for this one um, based on my experience I do think we need to go with this pet all right because we cannot let our Gao Jian Li die. Once our Gao Jian Li die, we are kind of useless. Right? So, we just pop everything inside. The back line doesn't really matter. But, um, yeah. We'll just have another round of this. Because I really do love this event. Really helped me learn a lot about the whole dynamics of this PvP. I do remember that I had a double chang si, a double si he, a qsh because uh, he's a tank and a very good cc also and one more guy i kind of forgot who i chosen but uh that's that's the time i only cleared stage 10 without fail all right uh so hey what happened to one of my hero why is it 5b all right so basically, uh, I guess I misclicked or something on um, this. <laughs> um, so guys, uh, I this is the end of the video guys. I do hope you do enjoy content like this. Um, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Everybody stay home, stay safe. Uh, it's a pretty tough time I do believe wherever you are in this part of the world um, but basically um, it's the end of the week again please remember to do your weekly quest as usual i have not done mine i'm gonna do it off screen later on so uh, thanks again for watching guys really appreciate and i'll see you in the next one bye bye